Me gusta porque está linda, me gusta porque está bella, me gusta demasiado bella, me gusta. Ay, mi niña bonita, cosita chula, cosita bonita que yo papá, así como está, así me gusta. Me gusta. Ay, me tiene loco, lo quita loco, mamá, no salgas a la calle. can believe this shit I managed to break the rear fucking brake rod on a DR200 uh, I'm super upset about that but I was basically taking off uh, I went to put my old sprockets back on to try out the old uh, top end speeds again oh you dumb dickhead and uh you have to take that off in order to uh, take the rear tire off Because the uh, screw that you have to unscrew to take it off was, I guess it wouldn't spin. I, I kept jerking and I tried to hold it and it, oh, fuck, it just snapped. And now I gotta go all the way to Chaparral, aka Chap a Cut, and fucking buy another one. And that's if I can find one. And knowing how it is when you look for motorcycle parts, they're gonna be some sort of problem or they're gonna say they can't find it or can't buy it. I can already predict it. But let's go ahead and find out. Yeah, haven't been able to hit over a hundred for, for a while. A triple A car trying to get down. <laughs> hey, he was all catching up to me and I was already going quick. Californians do like to go fast though, can't lie about that. system real quick. Ah, oh, it's getting hotter than the fucking devil's nutsack out here. Nice little tunnel exhaust time. in this bitch you know what I hate about this fucking place they make you take they take your helmet and your fucking backpack at the door so you have to trust your helmet to sitting on some fucking uh some ledge at the door watch I'll show you guys right now how you doing man yeah you want to say hi to YouTube how are you? Oh, so you have them like every month basically, huh? Every two months. Every two months. Cool, cool. Well, thank we you, man. They did one in April, and we skipped May, because they did, years ago they did one in May and it was kind of slow. And then they do June, and then they skip July, of course. Alright, man, well you have a good day, dude. No wheelies out there. Yeah, definitely have a good one. At least he's cool. Here's a rundown of some bikes that come down to San Bernardino Chaparral Cruiser. Um, I don't know what to call that, touring.
Street Fighter. No, that's not a Street Fighter, is it? That's just how the, the bike is. Yeah, FZ8. That's a normal. Oh, that's a nice bike. That's fucking clean. I want to buy one of those FZ8s. That's a nice little fucking bike. And look at the seat on that. He's got his own little fucking seat. It's like a cushion one. That's clean. I like that. Well, I actually, surprisingly, oh god, this truck smells like <laughs> smells like a fucking exhaust pipe's asshole. Oh, but I actually was able to get lucky enough to uh, find a dope ass uh, clean OEM Suzuki rear brake rod for. I repeat, a 15 doll hair, big boy. This guy's making a lift. Let's go ahead and fake him out with that right. God, it's so hot already. Since it's a super hot day, this actually reminded me of a story from back in my car days that I don't think I've ever mentioned. And it was a pretty scary experience and stupid when I look back at it. And ballsy, kind of, when I look back at it. I wouldn't have ever done that again. But back in the day, your boy had a 1988 Honda Prelude SI. Back when I used to think cars were quick. Well, I'm not trying to make people all butthurt, but I know cars are fast. But I'm talking about for the average little teenage asshole. I rode a, I drove a 1988 Honda Prelude SI, and um, it had, I know, after I had it for a while, it had over 224,000 melees. I used to like those GTSs back in the day. I used to think they were, hold on, let me, sh real quick. But obviously not anymore. Who knows? Maybe I can be wrong. to a 600cc bike because all that's going to do is show how cool and fast your car is. Especially if you're keeping up the whole time, that means you got a quick ass fucking car. I just wish there were more bikes around like to have fun with out here. The only person I really know is Jake. I, I have a buddy with a GSX-R 750 but he sold it and he lived far anyway so kind of sucks. But once again, back to my story. Um, I had a car and it ended uh, after like you know 20 225,000 miles started getting heating problems you know I was still a little poor dickhead then like I look like I'm now and <laughs> couldn't afford any shit to fix it and um, basically can we fit here Ooh, look at this tight fit mm. oh yeah I almost felt that one a little bit oh. Um, one time I, and then basically after it started giving me heating problems, this one time I had a ride far as fuck, or ride, drive, god I've been riding so long, I've been, I had a drive far as fuck, and um, sorry guys I have to concentrate. And I ended up having to like basically make like a 40 mile drive, which to me it's far because I always have vehicles that I'm scared to drive far. So to me, I look at that as far. <laughs> and basically, after my ride drive home, I was still a good 35 miles away. And what happens? My Tim gauge catches my eye. And I'm like, oh, hell no. 
and I found out it basically was happening because whenever the traffic would get to stop and go, having the motor stopped and not moving was actually causing it to heat up. So what I had to do, because I had no one to call and I was not trying to get fucking stranded out there and I was like, fuck this shit. So I ended up having to go in the emergency lane and look like the biggest dickhead. People probably thought I was just trying to be an asshole and avoid traffic when I wasn't. And I had to keep it up to like 40 miles an hour on the fucking emergency lane for over 30 miles, even over interchanges. You tell me how I did not fucking come across one cop seeing me do that. And I ended up getting off of a road that I recognized and it was in Corona. And at the time I lived in Riverside, which is the next city. So when I got up Corona, I had to like kind of fucking sit at red lights and just hope I wasn't fucked. And, uh, and basically I was even like running like red lights and shit. Like I was not, I wasn't like trying to kill people. Like I wasn't being that stupid where I wasn't paying attention to where I was going or anything. Don't get me wrong. But it was like, it, it was shitty. Let's put it that way. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm like out in Redlands. I was trying to get on my dickhead because I had to fucking get over. And then I ended up, uh, I ended up fucking thankfully making it to my house. My, my engine's probably like, redder than the fucking devil's asshole. Like, not his ass cheeks, his literal asshole. And when I get home, I pop the hood. And basically what it was is, actually it was kind of similar to this. It was the coolant reservoir thing. And it was the reservoir on that too. Get, no, get, get this, it was fucking busted. <laughs> and that, that ended up being what it was. But long story short, I stopped driving it that much after that. Uh, sold bitch. And and lived happily ever after with motorcycles. The end. I still have yet to get this oil leak fixed, so. I'm trying, I'm actually playing Russian Relay riding this bike. But don't get me wrong, I miss this bitch. Who wouldn't love doing this? Yeah, according according to that story, I will never ever do that again oh, with my car. Motorcycle, that's a whole nother story. Cause then you can just uh, then you then you can just lane split the whole way and shit, and then it's no issue after that. bikes out today. I'm fucking shocked. People try to get over and shit. Hey, we have uh, quite a couple renditions of some tunnel exhaust up in this bitch, huh? sounded cleaner than a rat's ass. I wonder if I could break in through here. Yep. Motorcycle advantages. Fuck yeah. Man, if I hit a fucking nether red light, man. I swear, fucking, like, red lights are my worst enemy. I loathe them. I loathe them with a passion. Like, I just want to fucking anal rape all those red lights and then send them home crying. Say what? Oh shit, there's a fucking bug in my helmet. <laughs> Fuck, there's literally a little fly like fiddling his goody hole in my ear. Oh. So, there's another bug. Is still in my ear. How do they get in there? 
How come I can't get something out that's in something? And yes, I know that's exactly what she said. That would be weird for her to say that. I mean, how could you not take it? Uh, I don't know. Never mind. Forget that. Look at that bike. Why would you want to ride a trike? Like, I, I mean, I guess it'd be fun in its own way, but I don't know. Like, I wouldn't own one and, like, have fun with it riding around. No, doggy, don't get hit. No. How tight this is. Whoa, this is like FBI guy. What the fuck? I've never seen a Ford Ranger cop truck. be funny if I was lane splitting and like I hit the AMR ambulance and like flew through the back window into a, like a gurney. <laughs> I wonder if they look at motorcycles. I bet they uh, I go, I'll be seeing you one of these days, buddy. Fucking some fresh twatter. AKA twatter. Or water. I'm talking to myself, sorry. How's your day going today? Yeah, no. Pretty hot out, huh? <laughs> right, you have a good day. Okay, you too. Uh, uh, definitely. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's Moto Vlog Adventure. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the fuck out of that like button, and you guys have yourselves a great day.